Welcome to Austin P. State University. In this video, I'm going to provide an overview of the campus technology and where you can go for support. There are people and online resources available to support you. Distance Education supports online teaching, learning, and technology here at Austin P. State University. Staff can help you navigate online learning and technologies like the learning management system, online proctoring, plagiarism detection, and web conferencing. Distance Education Support is located in the McReynolds Building, Room 216, and is available by phone and email Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Also there to support you is GovsTech. The GovsTech team can assist you with account management issues, such as password resets, as well as provide support for university-issued software, computer labs, printing, and the wireless network. They have an extensive website at govstech.apsu.edu with their services as well as a knowledge base with self-help tutorials. GovsTech is located in the University Center lobby and they are available by phone and email as well. We have good news for you. You will only need one username and password to log into all the technology systems including campus computers. You may hear this referred to as single sign-on. You received your unique login information when you were admitted to the university. Do not share your login information with anyone. It creates a security concern for your student information. If you need assistance, please contact GovsTech. We highly recommend you sign in for password recovery so that you can change and reset your password on your own. The link and directions for how to do this is available on the One Stop Login screen, which we will talk about next. AP One Stop is the hub for connecting to the university. You can log in by selecting One Stop on the APSU website or by going there directly at onestop.apsu.edu. Under the Login button, there is a link to set up the password recovery. Once logged into One Stop, you can see that there are many tools to explore. Today we are going to start by highlighting Web Self Service. Through Web Self Service, you are able to access all of your student information, including grades, transcripts, registration, financial aid, and more. You will be here a lot, so it's important to know how to get in and navigate. If you have a smartphone, you can set up your phone to receive email. Step-by-step -step instructions are available through the GovsTech website. In addition to email, there are a variety of ways to connect with the university. APSU has a mobile app called P-Mobile. You can view your course schedule, a campus map, an event calendar, and more. APSU is very active on social media. Many offices such as Distance Education and GovsTech have social media accounts that you can follow. Take some time to explore by searching for APSU on your favorite sites. Your security is very important to the university. Rave Alert is a text communication system used for security issues on campus and university closings. LibSafe is an app which is available for download in the app stores. It is used to report tips with APSU police and request an in-person escort. More information about both is available on the APSU police website. It is important to understand that every class at Austin P could have an online component. APSU courses range from face-to-face -face to hybrid, to fully online. Hybrid courses are a combination of face-to-face -face and online courses where students participate in course activities through both methods. We currently use D2L Brightspace as our learning management system where faculty regularly upload course materials online and interact with students. Your instructor may use D2L to distribute the course syllabus, class notes, grades, or post critical announcements. Additionally, you can take quizzes, submit assignments, participate in discussion boards, and access textbook resources. Just like your email, it's important to log into D2L regularly. There are two ways. The first is through OneStop. The second is by logging in directly at elearn.apsu.edu. You will use the same login information you use for OneStop. Once you log into D2L, you can see your courses under My Courses. However, you will not see any courses until the first day of classes as listed in the academic calendar. When you select a course, it takes you to the course homepage where you can see news items and access the course calendar. 
From the home page, you can select Content to start exploring the course. D2L has a very clean appearance and streamlined functionality. Navigation is easy and tools are simple to use. Distance Education provides videos on their website so that you can learn how to use D2L. Now let's talk about your computer hardware and software needs. You need access to a computer compared to a mobile device like a tablet or a smartphone. We recommend a Windows 7, Mac OS 10.8, or newer computer. Though D2L is available through mobile browsers, you should avoid using them for high-stakes activities like exams or writing papers. Also, some courses may require you to download special software that only works on a computer. Often public computers, like in a library, may restrict downloading, so don't rely solely on public computers. Have a backup in mind. Some courses may require the use of a webcam, speakers, or a microphone. Most computers have these built in already, or you can easily connect them. Regarding web browsers, please do not use Internet Explorer. We recommend the most up-to-date versions of Google Chrome or Apple Safari. In order to maintain your computer, you should make sure to regularly install computer updates, including updates for your web browser and common plugins. We also recommend protecting your computers with antivirus and spyware software. If you live on campus, you will most likely bring other devices for your room that will require an internet connection. Any connecting device must meet specific security standards in order to use the campus network. This helps protect the security of the network and all of the connected devices. To make it easy, GovsTech has put together a list of devices that are not compatible with the network or would require a wired connection. For example, the Roku Streaming Stick and Google Chromecast will not work on the network, but Roku players and smart TVs will work with a wired connection, which is an Ethernet cable connecting the device to the outlet in the wall. Please check this list, which is on their website at govstech.apsu.edu before purchasing and bringing devices to campus. In order to complete assignments, you may need software for word processing, spreadsheets, and presentations like Microsoft Office. Do not pay for this. All APSU students are given five free licenses to Office 365. You may download this software onto your PC or Mac and use it while you're an APSU student. Visit office.com backslash get Office 365 to get started. For questions, please contact GovsTech. Austin P. has partnered with Lynda.com to offer the Lynda Campus Solution to all current APSU students, staff, and faculty. Lynda.com provides online, micro-learning videos, courses, and learning paths so you can gain new skills based on your goals, interests, and experience. Go to apsu.edu backslash Lynda to log in using your single sign-on credentials. For any problems, contact GovsTech. Let's review some of the takeaways from this video. Protect your single sign-on information. OneStop is the hub for connecting with the university. Check your email and D2L daily. Keep your computer and software updated. Make sure your devices are compatible. Get Office 365 for free. Your course may use online technology, so visit www.apsu.edu backslash online for resources and support. Visit govstech.apsu.edu for other technology services and resources. Thanks for watching.